My name's Diana, and I primarily focus on building detailed North American style cities on my channel. And I'm partnering with Paradox Interactive to show you how to integrate a few key signature buildings with zone commercial and parking to create an authentic suburban shopping district in City Skylines 2. The reality of urban planning in much of North America looks a little like this. Wide boulevards lined with primarily auto-oriented uses, combining a high-speed thoroughfare with a bustling commercial street affectionately known as a strode. When planning commercial districts, location is key. We want to place them in high traffic areas, such as where two long distance highways meet. This will maximize the efficiency and sales of goods in your zones. I typically like to level out a flat pad of land to work with and create a main intersection with both arterial roads connecting to the highways and the rest of the city. This intersection will be the focus of activity and where we place our signature buildings. I'll start with the one-stop station, as gas stations are usually located at busy corners near highways with lots of vehicle traffic. We also have the food station, which looks a lot like a typical American strip mall. Great for a location like this. Although technically a European-themed building, the marketplace resembles your average suburban grocery store, and this corner lot is prime real estate to feed a hungry populace. On the last corner, we have the auto center, the premier place to purchase a new car. All of these buildings have commercial functionality and are unlocked when you zone a certain amount of various commercial types. This is a busy area with a lot of cars, so we need to provide those cars with ample parking. On-street parking on such a high-speed corridor is typically unsafe, so we build large lots instead. And behind them, we create access roads into the commercial districts we will zone fronting the parking lots. This provides added convenience to your city's motorists. Another fun signature building we can place is the Streamline Diner, which resembles a classic mid-century restaurant. Perfect to give a little historic flair to the area, as this urban design form was pioneered in post-World War II North America, when private vehicle usage became ubiquitous. Behind the main strip of shops, we often see businesses catering to more office or industrial clients. If you have the San Francisco set, you can use the muscle car garage, which can stand in for either an auto mechanic or wrecking yard and zone some office and industrial nearby as these tend to be compatible uses. Another extremely busy and valued piece of real estate is right by the highway interchange. Fashion Square, a luxurious shopping mall, is an excellent choice to populate this sought after parcel of land. To support all the commerce, we need a population. We can plan a low density suburb using the principles of road hierarchy with smaller local streets bordered by our large arterials and connected to them by mid-sized collector roads. Many suburban neighborhoods are anchored by elementary schools, so we'll place one in the middle here and zone the rest residential, except for a few key commercial zones along the main roads. Often when building cities in City Skylines 2, we'll focus more on the glamorous areas like massive downtowns and idyllic rural areas. But I think it's important to think of all parts of your city. And if creating an authentic North American style city is your thing, it can easily be done with the right mindset. There'll be more inspirational tutorials from your favorite creators coming soon to this channel. So don't forget to like and subscribe for more City Skylines content. Once again, my name's Diana and I'll talk to you later.